Is your phone electric? What do you think? In this video, I'm going to be showing you what I learned in my science fair project. Hi, my name is Ashley, and I wanted to learn if fruits and vegetables can conduct electricity. I learned that fruits and vegetables can't create electricity, but they can conduct electricity. This means they can provide a way for the electricity to flow through. My research shows that you need to use a piece of copper and a piece of zinc and insert it into a fruit or vegetable and connect it with wires and then it creates a circuit and allows the electric current to flow. It's sort of like a battery. Lemons and potatoes usually do the best, but there's tons of experiments on the potato. Lemons have citric acid and potatoes have electrolytes, which both help electricity flow through them. Some online articles said lemons do better when they get squeezed. And a university in Jerusalem did their own experiment to show that a potato that has been boiled for eight minutes does ten times the amount as a normal potato for conducting electricity. But I wanted to go farther. I wanted to test many fruits and vegetables to see how they did. So my hypothesis was, if you insert a piece of zinc and a piece of copper into the fruit, then it will conduct electricity. And I think the potato will conduct the most electricity. Fun fact, did you know the electron flow moves in the opposite direction of the current flow? It's because they discovered the flow of current first, and they discover how electrons move and in what direction later in history. These are the materials that we used. Zinc coated brackets, copper coated brackets, electrical wire, alligator clips, electric meters to measure the current, and the fruits and vegetables that I tested were potatoes. I tested a boiled potato and a raw potato that were the exact same weight. A really big boiled potato a squeezed lemon, and an unsqueezed lemon that were the exact same weight, a cucumber, a mango, and a squeezed orange. The procedure was the same for each fruit or vegetable. I put a piece of copper and a piece of zinc into the skin, and I pushed it as far as it could go. Then I connected the wires to each side and hooked it up to the microamp meter. When I tested the squeezed lemon, I had to switch to a digital electric meter because its numbers were really high. I measured the amount of current flowing through each fruit and vegetable by writing down how many microamps the meter set every hour. I did this for 48 hours. Here's what I found. When I compared the squeezed lemon to the unsqueezed lemon, there was a big difference. The squeezed lemon did much better. When I compared the raw potato to the boiled potato. The boiled potato did better, but not by a whole lot. The big boiled potato did the best out of the three of them, and it lasted the longest. How heavy the fruit or vegetable was didn't make any difference to how, much mi how many microamps or volts it made. What mattered the most was what was inside the fruit or vegetable. That's why these two did the best out of all of them. The orange and the mango did well, but they were lower than the squeezed lemon, but they were higher than all three potatoes. But the cucumber did not do well. I noticed that moving the copper and the zinc close together made a difference. I started with them far apart on the cucumber, but when I moved them closer, the number of microamps got higher. Squeezing the lemon again made the numbers go higher for a short period of time too. Same with pushing the copper and the zinc in the fruit farther. It made the numbers go up. I tried to control the variables like using the same type of wire. I weighed all my fruits and vegetables and I set a timer so that I made sure to check every hour. Some variables that I could not control were how close the copper and the zinc were together. I tried to make it as exact as I could. I ha also had to use two different types of meters. In conclusion, I learned that fruits and vegetables can conduct electricity. But the amount of electricity that they can conduct depends on the fruit or the vegetable. The squeezed lemon and the orange did really well. 
I think that when you squeeze it, those little compartments break down, which makes it so the electric current can flow through better. The mango did okay. The potatoes did fine. But the cucumber didn't conduct very much. I think that if you have enough squeezed lemons and you hook them all together, you could have an alternative power source. But I don't think it could light up your entire house. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. I'll put links to some of the articles I looked at down below. Thanks for watching my video. Bye!